Hey guys, welcome to this week's Dennis Kirk Tech Tip. Today we're going to show you how to mount a Pro Taper Sella or self engaged launch assist starting device. This is our favorite starting device at Swap Moto Live uh, staff because it's like the, name, like the name implies, it's self engaged. So uh, you don't need the help of a mechanic or buddy. Um, I don't know, not all of us have super long arms that can pull down the front end ourselves. So uh, this is a really great product. You just twist the knob, slam on the front brake as you're riding to the starting gate, and lock the front end down for a better start. We're going to show you how to do it easily in this video because Pro Taper asks you to go to their website and there is a 10 page instruction manual how to install this. Um, this is about the third or fourth one I've put on, so uh, I know the little shortcuts and tricks. So let's get started. So the Pro Taper Cella Kit is universal. Comes with everything you need to make it work on most motorcycles. Um, comes with several different receivers and you can look up the instructions. It tells you which one according to your bike. Um, tools that you need yourself are a power drill, a 3 16 inch drill bit, scissors, masking tape, razor blade, and a Phillips screwdriver. But the kit, as you can see, comes with everything. It comes with the locking mechanism, the lock ring, different bolts depending on which receiver hitch you're gonna use, as well as a 19 millimeter drill bit, two hex heads to uh, tighten it up, and thread lock. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is remove your right side fork guard. It's three bolts. Some bikes will require you to remove the front wheel to get at the innermost fork, old fork guard bolt. But we cheated and had Jay Clark remove it already. So you get your uh, fork guard off and we're ready to start working. All right, so the one thing that you do need to print out, I said you didn't have to print out that 10 page instruction manual. Uh, Pro Taper supplies templates for installing the kit on your fork guard. There's three options. There's 100 mil, 110, and 120. I think the Supercross guys, starting on the metal grate, might want to go 120. Uh, I like to go 110 because it's right in the middle, just like Mama Bear's Porridge. Okay, so drawing on our arts and crafts skills from kindergarten, you cut along the line as well as you can to get the pattern ready. The one thing that you need to do is there are two lines that you need to cut out to accommodate the bend in the fork guard. So what, the guard, what this guide is gonna tell you is effectively where to mount the template plate when you drill the holes. So you get the uh, pattern lined up on the fork guard, which as you can see, lines up pretty well. And you tape it down. So this will show you where to affix the drilling template. What I like to do is get the tape on both sides of it. Line it up, make sure that there's two holes on one side and one on the other. Line it up with the pattern. Tape it down, we're ready to get to business. Tape the top and bottom to make sure it's extra sturdy. So you can see all the holes line up with the pattern. And you want to drill the three, three sixteenth inch holes first. Okay, once you have those drilled out, you wanna take the mounting bolts off the whole shot mechanism itself, because you're gonna use this to hold the metal template in place while you drill out the 19 millimeter hole. So you take those screws and you screw them into the plastic so that it holds the plate in place, the top and the bottom. Okay, once those are tightened in, uh, it gives a nice sturdy foothold to drill this one out. So the cool thing about having the metal template is you don't have to be super precise. It'll guide the bit through the hole where it needs to be. Kind of be a hack like I am. Okay, 
There we go. Hole complete. So next thing you do is you remove the template and the paper pattern. The next thing we're gonna do is use a razor blade to clean up the back side of the holes that we just drilled. Oh, we got three pretty clean holes still. See that little bit of extra plastic. There, so you just wanna make sure that both sides of all three holes are nice and flat and free of any burrs. Okay, so on the website, you enter your bike manufacturer, your model, and the year, and it will give you your specific set of instructions and templates, which we just used. So on the Kawasaki one, on page six, I believe it is, it shows you which fork ring assembly that you need. So here, Kawasaki KX450, receiver A, spacer 2.5, screw set B. So A, 2.5, and B. It looks like all the Kawasaki's take the same setup. Okay, so uh, receiver A, spacer 2.5, and screw set B. Effectively, this rest of this stuff will not be used on the Kawasaki. You can, if you're a thrifty guy that likes to hold on to parts, you can hold on to this stuff in case you want to keep your cell device and use it on your next new bike if it's a different manufacturer. The back side of the fork guard, you need to lightly use the bore to widen the back sides of the bolts, bolt holes. Okay, so installing the cell device on your fork guard, if you look at the back, there is a screw, that is the top. Just gonna mount this onto the fork guard. You wanna be sure to uh, put the thread lock. Get one started, don't tighten it all the way. Get the second bolt in there. So there you have it, it's all mounted up. You can see how the device works. This is the latch mechanism, the locking mechanism. Make sure that activates freely. Now we're ready for the retainer ring. Take the spacer, the retainer, and the bolt kit. Stack the receiver on top of the spacer. The retainer ring has a top and bottom. The bottom is a side that has a drainage hole. Just gonna line it up like that. Once again, you're gonna wanna make sure to lock tight your mounting bolts. So now that we have the receiver all mounted up, you grab the larger Allen and the fastening mechanism and let's head over to the bike. So the cool thing about the Sella is that the retaining ring opens up goes on the fork, you don't have to pull your front end off the bike. Pretty simple installation. So before we get the uh, fork guard actually installed, you wanna try to eyeball it and get the, uh, you wanna get the notch lined up straight up between the two fork lug bolts. So that's about right there. Don't have to get it perfect the very first time, but we're gonna snug it down. Time to put the fork guard on. Just gonna reinstall the fork guard. Through the years, since the uh, invention of the whole shot device, we've used many, many different ones. Had great success with some, huge failures with others. The worst being when one malfunctioned and activated while I was riding and actually blew out the seal housing of my forks which just happened to be a set of eight kit KYB forks that were on loan from Enzo Racing. Others are harder to use, require two people, a little bit of luck. You may have seen guys trying over and over to get, get their whole shot device engaged on the start of a Supercross. So there we go. So once you get everything mounted, you eyeball that the whole shot device lines up with the receiver. We did a pretty good job, so time to test it out. The way that you work the Sella is before you head the starting gate, 
you give it a clockwise twist and it locks in place. And we're gonna compress the fork and you'll see how it holds the front end down. It's pretty easy, you just lock it and on your way to the starting gate, give your front brake a little tap and uh, lock the forks down. So there you have it. Front end is locked down. Uh, keeps front end down when you power off the gate. And when you hit your first uh, braking bump, it disengages. So there you have it. You didn't have to print out 10 pages of instructions. Uh, this week's Dennis Kirk tech tip, how to engage the Pro Taper seller system. Now I'm gonna head to the track and try to get a whole shot this weekend.